hey you guys welcome back to my channel cosmic royal family how are you guys doing i hope that you are doing amazing <clears throat> if this is your first time here welcome and if you guys are returning welcome back all right okay so collective it looks like there is somebody could be multiple people okay because study group did come out study group talks about like a group of people right more than one person it looked like y'all have had a group of people it's kind of giving like coven energy <clears throat> or one particular person all right who has been studying ways to defeat you these people are working together, have been working together to study ways to take you out of here, all right? To take something from you, to rob you, to end something for you, right? And I, I think what's funny about the situation is that they have to, they got to work together to do this. Like, you're, you're so powerful, whoever you are, you know, you are a ascended master or you are the descendant of an ascended master, okay? So, like, kind of like, like jesus all right jesus really is like an ascended master he's an ascended master all right so you may be like a, like a descendant of christ energy that's just an example but there are other ascended masters that you definitely could be an ascendant from right and descendant of so you are the descendant of a powerful descend ascended master it says awaken to your heritage from ascended masters your gift your gifts are shields in your purpose. A guiding star. Harness, harness your power to lead and illuminate. Embrace your role as a beacon of transformation. So, I mean, it's kind of giving chosen one. And I know I, I say that word a lot. It really, we really use that word recklessly. But I mean, if it's given that, it's given that. And I'm gonna say that. Okay. Um, so you have like this group of people, right, who've been working together behind the scenes with each other trying to figure out ways to like bind your finances up okay stop your forward movements stop your blessings like do things to send spiritual slugs your way spirit is calling these people like spiritual bullies or something but this was like a robbery gone wrong like whatever they thought that they were going to steal from you it blew up in their face these people are actually very obsessed with doing this Okay, y'all have people that's literally obsessed with finding ways to um to try to steal your fortune from you, to, tr to try to take something from you that's fortune, like that's destined for you to have. This is a part of your great fortune because you are the relative, the direct relative um, of an ascendant master. So this is a part of that care package. That's a part of, you know, the deal, right? You inherited this energy, right? So these are people who've gotten themselves in a bit of a pickle collective. They have gotten themselves all entangled up in karmic energy, like so much to the point where there's no way out of it. You know how you dig yourself in too deep in something. So it's like you've you've done too much spell work, right? You've you've done you've sent too much black magic to somebody, you've sent too many death rituals to somebody, and it's just not working. You've sent too many financial spells to somebody and it's not working. Okay, so you just keep doing it and keep doing it. You keep bad mouthing a person. You keep talking about a person in a negative way, right? You you keep lying, gossiping about somebody, and you're further getting yourself entangled into this in a karmic entanglement. This is a karmic energy, and it's just a cycle, and it just keeps going and it keeps going, right? <clears throat> I heard one of my guys say they bit off more than they could chew. So dealing with you guys collected, this particular person bit off more than they could chew. You guys are healers. You're sent here to heal other people through touch, through your energy, through your presence. So just your presence here on this earth, um, you're going to heal so many people. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's why you guys were reincarnated here. Somebody wanted to stop you guys for, from fulfilling this prophecy over your life from fulfilling this destiny what you guys were seeing here to do somebody want to stop you from doing this literally to steal your great fortune for you spirit is saying that they meet they met a dead end though okay like I don't, whatever they thought is not what they thought and they're very obsessed with doing this especially since robbery is here in reverse this is something that they cannot they can't it's not a successful thing like they can't accomplish this they cannot defeat you 
Wow, look at this. Foolish. These people feel like fools. They feel foolish. Clowns. Collective. Because you will always have victory over your enemies. You see how he's stomping the head of the serpent? You are def you're going to defeat these people because you're a snake. If you're sitting up doing black magic on somebody to try to take their money, take their beauty, take their essence, take their energy, you are a serpent. You are the enemy. <clears throat> and then sometimes these karmics will like try to rationalize this because they're delusional, you know, as to why they're targeting or attacking an innocent person. They're ignoring the spiritual warnings to not do so out of ego. And you are defeating these people without even trying. It says victory over your enemies. Like the wisdom of Psalms 91 and 13, you're empowered to stand firm against the lion and the cobra, symbolizing your ability to conquer challenges when faced with adversity. Remember, your innate strength and the promise of victory will faith with faith and victory. I'm sorry, with faith and bravery, you are always destined to triumph. So it's written for you to defeat these bozos anyway. And I do mean bozos with the clown energy. They're bozos. Okay. Because you guys are direct descendants of ascended masters. Look at this. I can't make it up. Baneful magic. Y'all literally be having so many people sending y'all baneful magic. Magic with the intention on hurting you, destroying you, killing you, like stealing something from you. But because because who your family is, because of who you are direct relative to, this is like a, um, you know, one of those missions you go on where you don't survive it. That's kind of what I'm getting here. You can't, this don't ride with everybody collective. All right. All this baneful magic. What's going on is that whatever they meant for you guys is happening to them, right? That's what they don't tell you about doing black magic on people doing baneful magic is there's a chance okay there's a small chance well I, i'm gonna say a small chance there's always a chance that it's gonna come back on you but there's a small chance that the person that you're doing that to is indeed a ascended master or the uh, descendant of ascended master or chosen one an earth angel for real and that the repercussions could be deadly the repercussions could be fatal they don't tell you that they don't be telling people that. And whoever has been doing this is, like I said, they got a big ego God complex. This person believes they're always right and refuses to listen to others, making their journey tougher because they won't compromise or embrace humility. Being open to others' ideas and acknowledging their own limitations could ease their path and lead to richer, more meaningful connections. This person here is hard-headed. You see how his head is concrete? This is a hard-headed person, meaning this person has been warned multiple times. So these group of people, whoever's doing this, have been warned multiple times to cease and desist, to stop, okay? To fall back, to stop sending this magic to somebody in the collective. They were warned. They were warned. Look at this. Grandma, I'm telling you, grandma's prayers, baby, she never, she never missed. She never, ever miss. So you have like a very powerful matriarch who are really big steppers in the spirit. And when I tell you that they're not going to let these people get away with either. So now not only do these people are now, not only are they being targeted by ascended masters energy or whoever your direct bloodline is like literally the gods and the goddesses are attacking this person here. Right. Then you have your ancestors who are backing you and covering you and making sure that don't none of this shit stick to you. The, I'm telling you and whoever your direct bloodline connection to they are covering you and making sure that don't none of this stick to you either you have so much spiritual backing you have so much spiritual backing collective like um that's why spirit is calling this um a duck mission this was a mission that they were never going to survive they were never going to come back from this that's why the entanglement card is here this person is in too deep or these people are in too deep they really feel like they have nothing else to lose at this point because they've already lost their life. Especially if they did something to you spiritually that was supposed to take your life collective. Yeah, these people could be praying. 
they could be praying now somebody could somebody send actual like death magic or like financial magic to someone who is a direct descendant of um i keep hearing christ's energy and these people are praying this person is praying for forgiveness they're they're begging god to forgive them and to spare them but god is not going to do that because this person didn't spare you i'm just letting you know and i ain't saying that god won't forgive you because he can forgive you but you still have to pay the karma so you'll be forgiven but guess what if the magic you sent was supposed to directly take somebody's life then you're you you're just gonna have to get that together in the next lifetime when you're just gonna have to try again in the next lifetime <laughs> for real okay so but somebody ain't forgiving i'm letting you know this and that's the truth. Okay, so this could be your ancestors because they don't have to go by the same spiritual laws as us. They don't have to forgive. And they don't. And they don't forget neither. And they don't forgive either. Okay, how we have to forgive and all that extra stuff, they don't have to do that. And when they say that they're not going to forgive somebody and that they're going to vindicate you and that they're going to avenge you, okay, avenge your name, avenge your energy, they're going to do that. They're going to do just that. Okay, and they and these type of spirits have been known to wait people out. They have been known because it's kind of like everything has to go to spiritual court collective. So they have to they kind of like will let you hang yourself. You ever heard the term you give a person enough rope, they'll hang themselves. That's kind of what I'm giving. Like they literally it be giving the, your enemies enough rope. They'll warn them. They'll keep doing it. By the time this gets to spiritual court, your ancestors got so much proof and evidence on these people that divine literally throw the book at them. And, and the price of treason is off with their head. Like the punishment literally be death for these people. Because if they continue to physically exist, then they will continue to try to make it hard for this chosen one's path to continue here. Somebody, O-M freaking G. I cannot make this up. Left out in the cold and death is here. Literally. It says life moves in cycles. It says each, each, it says each phase is a step towards transformative. Embrace the ebb flow through change and renewal. So everything, there's a season and every purpose under the heaven. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. Recognize the rhythm of your journey. A path is profound growth and re, um, reinvention. Possible physical, possible physical death. I can't make it up. Somebody wanted you to be left out in the cold spiritually and you're not left out in the cold because who you are a direct descendant of spiritually. Okay, you guys are literally high ranking. You're big steppers in the spirit realm. Your bloodline are famous spiritually. Like gods and goddesses, okay? Orishas and like you're direct descendants of some powerful beings. Okay? I heard Lawals and stuff like that. Like... Man, listen, somebody for sure is a direct descendant of Christ. Just so you know, direct descendant. Okay. And this person is going to physically transition and their soul is going to be stuck, left out in the cold, not able to go into the light. Yep. There it is. Look at that justice card. And that's justice. And divine and spirit is saying, and that, my dear, is what we call justice. Because if you were warned to stop sending baneful magic to somebody and you kept doing it, you kept doing it because you wanted this person to meet a definite ending. Like this person or these people, they wanted to end the an earth angel indefinitely. They wanted to put you in a position where there was no possible way for you to ever recover, for you to ever get better, for you to ever heal, for you to ever have anything. They wanted you and your children to be out in the streets homeless, okay, begging and not having this. They, they wanted to create a definite ending in your life. And this is why with the transformation card, with possible physical death, they will face a definite ending in their life. That's just, it is what it is. They've lost their divine protection because of who you guys are directly um, related to with ascended master energy here and how your ancestors are um, high ranking beings as well. The only way to balance this out and to make it fair is for these people to transition. That's what spirit is saying. That's the only way for it to be fair. They say fair is fair. Fair is fair in love and war. That's what they said. Some of you guys, you've already received a download about the fate of this person, the fate of this individual, the fate of this group. 
right now these people are in the financial bind. Okay, that's how it started because they wanted you to be in the financial bind. So right now, look at this. Can't make it up. Spiritually depleted. They are in a financial bind collective. Like literally spirit is sucking the, the, the resources, the vitality. Everything is being sucked out of this group or this person. Okay. Whoever felt this bold enough to send baneful magic towards you without checking your spiritual records, without praying, without meditating, without getting clarity. Okay. On who you really are in the spirit and who steps with you who protects you, that's on them. That's on them, okay? That's on them collective. And I'm hearing they were warned. They were warned multiple times. I heard three warnings, okay? The number three is a very special number in the universe. I, I get it. I feel like spirit warned this person three separate occasions not to mess with you, to stop doing what they was doing. I heard cease and desist to stop it. They continued. Now they have been stripped of their divine protection for intentionally hurting you guys. I feel like this situation went to spiritual court and your ancestors had so much proof. The ascended masters were there. So this was like a high profile spiritual court case because who you are a direct relative of. You're not a regular soul. So this was a high profile spiritual court case. See, I'm telling you, people really be out here playing with their life. All right. Now they praying and begging and asking God to spare them and to forgive them and get them one more chance and don't take their life. Let them live and they'll be a better person. And God is like, yeah, I know you're going to be a better person. You're going to be a better person in your next lifetime. That's what is given. Now they're grieving. Now they're grieving collective. Now they're grieving. Wow. Hmm. <coughs> I'm going to say this. Whatever this person did collective, it could have been so harsh, okay, that this shit could have broke you down to your knees. You didn't know. Look at that earth angel. You didn't know why you were going through the chaos, why, you know, you were experiencing certain setbacks in your life, right? You didn't know why, but I'm getting that this made you stronger, okay? This only amplified your gifts, your ability. I'm hearing divine is about to give you double for your trouble. So you're about to get the divine inheritance and the blessings of these karmics that foolishly relinquish their gifts over to you when they wage spiritual warfare against you and failed. Now, because they did fail collective, I'm getting that divine granted you their gifts. You're going to get their gifts. You're going to be, that's why a lot of you guys, even if it wasn't originally written for you to be rich in this lifetime. Because this person decided to come up against you or so many people decided to come up against you guys spiritually and failed and you're going to be granted the blessings that they were supposed to get, you're going to be rich. They're only making you richer. They're only making you more protected, okay? You guys are stronger than ever spiritually now. Look at this. The grief that these individuals will be experiencing because of their actions, the actions that they took against an earth angel is wild to me. And they were warned. They did this out of pure ego. Spirit said they were hard-headed. They were full of themselves. You couldn't tell them nothing. Okay, you teach certain people magic tricks and they get beside themselves, don't they? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. That's why everybody can't have power and access to their gifts and stuff. Because that type of energy in the wrong hands could be, could be detrimental. And that's kind of what I'm getting here. Look at this financial karma then i say right now whoever sent this energy to you or whoever have been bullying you spiritually energetically they are facing financial karma divine has ordered the angels to cut holes in these people's pockets collective because that's what they wanted for you look at that hard pill to swallow for them to get a taste of their own medicine it's a hard pill to, to swallow for these people not knowing that you guys are spiritual warriors or you come from a bloodline of spiritual warriors who get down about you guys collective. See, you don't know a person's protection. I always say, be mindful how you treat people because you don't know who walk with them. You do not know who walk with them. You have a whole team, a whole team. And because you guys fought, see, because I kind of get a vibe that not only do you come from a line of spiritual warriors, but you yourself is a spiritual warrior. Very ferocious, very cutthroat. Okay. Very kick ass in the spirit very brutal very ruthless 
All right. Very much. I will run through your bloodline type energy. That's what it's given. And because you guys did this, you stood 10 toes down. You did not fold collective. You called in the help as you needed it. Y'all straight went beast mode in the spirit and you destroyed these people and their bloodline for coming up against you. You guys went through some type of spiritual initiation where your rank, your rank was raised. Oh, your rank was raised. Wow. I heard they ain't never seen nothing like you before. I mean, I mean, come on, like, they know y'all related, like, but come on, like, some of you guys are going to literally, because of the amount of warfare that you experienced and how you executed this, how you maneuvered this warfare, okay, how you dealt with the situation, like, the gifts you tapped into, like, you showed out. Some of, some of them learned some tricks that they didn't even know, like, I'm gonna say this. I ain't saying your ancestors doubted you, but I'm just saying like, they really proud of you. They are really proud of you. Somebody specific, there are, there's one person that's watching me, one or two, I'm gonna say two. There's at least two people that's watching me who is going to, because of the amount of warfare that you have went through in this lifetime and other lifetimes and how you came out triumphant over your enemies, how you you conducted yourself in a very righteous way, um, you're gonna reincarnate as a um a deity. You're gonna reincarnate as a deity in in your next lifetime. This is your last human experience here. You're gonna reincarnate as a deity. Yeah, that's so amazing. I'm telling you, see, I'm telling you, people think they be hurting people. You really. You giving them opportunity to show what they made of spiritually. That's what you're really doing. All right. Well, yeah, there's at least two people that's watching me that's going to reincarnate as a real deity. And whoever you are, you are direct descendant of ascended master anyway. So this could have been a position that was meant for you in the first place. And then you're going to be protecting people. You're going to be in the ethers protecting people. And then your people, like your children and your, your family, they're going to be a direct descendant of a powerful deity, a.k.a. you. So when anybody cross them, their ass is grass because they are a direct descendant of a deity. Can't make this shit up, black magic. Here it is. I'm telling you, I'm, listen, I'm just going to leave this here, Okay. Somebody need to go ahead and get their life insurance together and, you know, lay out they whatever, how they, whatever they want to, because I'm telling you what spirit is how to telling me how this is going to end. They can pray all they want, but the, their prayers are going unheard. I'm hearing their prayers are falling on deaf ears because they were warned to stop doing something to you. Okay. And let me tell you something, the gods and the goddesses that are coming after this person, they warned this person because they knew how much damage that they could do to this person and their entire bloodline. They knew this. So they tried to give this person a warning. I heard you've been warned. You were warned fair and square. You were warned fair, fair and square collective. This is going to end in a definite ending for them. The same definite ending that they wanted for you is going. That's how it's going to end for them. Collective. All this, all this black magic has finally caught up with this person. Yep, time has ran out for them. Time has ran out for them. Yep, they couldn't sacrifice you. They couldn't take you out here out of off this realm. They're not powerful enough. They're not powerful enough. You could be an emperor. You could be a divine masculine energy. Okay, this is these are people who thought they were more powerful than you, who thought that they outranked you. Okay, but these are people who not even qualified to sit in your class. They literally the janitor to taking out the trash for real. If you if you had a class that you were teaching, this would be a this would be a very prestige class. Okay, like the people who would have to come under you. And like learn from you are people who have already went through and proved themselves in the spirit and they are worthy enough to sit in your class. That's the vibe I'm getting here. Look at this, stealing your life. Yeah, they wanted to take your life for themselves collective and they ultimately cause a storm in their life that's going to end their contract here on earth. That's what it is. Storm warning, karmic retribution. 
council contract is over. It is over, okay? So, listen, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below how it resonated with you. Peace.